might surprise you to learn that kindness is actually the key to success. Now, when we hear the word kindness, we often sometimes think about people who are too kind and too nice and like to say yes all the time and they just don't know how to set boundaries and maybe they're a little bit of a doormat. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay, kindness is actually an attribute of strength when coming from the right place. I have a great quote for you. Mike Bechtel says, people buy books on how to be healthy, wealthy, popular, and balanced. But few people are rushing out to buy books on how to be kind. In our competitive world, we seem to think that kindness would keep us from achieving greatness. So how is it that kindness is the key to success? Well, in fact, kindness is a vital part of strength. When you use kindness from a position of strength, in other words, a, a position of your acknowledging your own impact and being in control of yourself, as a very different thing than you being kind because of out of fear, fear of retribution, um, ineffectiveness, or lack of self-worth. Being kind is a vital attribute of strength because it's so easy, particularly in stressful situations, to allow other people to pull us off our center and drag us down to their level. So when you are kind, consistently and constantly kind, while still being true to your boundaries, still exuding confidence, and staying true to yourself, that is an attribute of strength. Now let's go one step further. Kindness also is not a replacement for your personality. For the most part, unless you are negative Nelly, kindness can be a huge attribute as a part of your personality and your character. Kindness is not about saying yes to everything. In fact, that is not kindness. Because kindness, kindness truly goes two ways. Kindness goes to other people, and kindness needs to be reflected on you. So when you are also kind to yourself, you will not be that person that just says yes to everything because you're afraid of what other people might think or you're afraid of maybe hurting their feelings or whatever that might look like for you. Being kind to other people also means you have to be kind to yourself. It is a two-way street. Also understand that nice guys do not always finish last. In fact, those people who are consistently kind and giving, supportive, and pleasant to be around are arguably much more successful. Think about it. How likely are you to support someone who is a real jerk? Probably not high. Should we be kind to unkind people? Yes, you should be. And I'll tell you why. Because if you aren't kind to even people who are unkind to you, that means you're allowing them to tell you how to be. You're giving your power away. So if you remain firm in your convictions and still be kind, even when they are not kind, even when they're being a total jerk, or maybe something simple as a person who didn't hold the door open for you, does that mean you're not going to hold the door open for the next person? Are you going to let that person dictate your behavior? I think not. Kindness is something that requires intentionality. So yes, be kind to unkind people because if you're not, that just belittles you and drags you down to their level. Don't give your power away. Kindness, interestingly, also spreads like a waterfall. It's like ripples on a pond. When you see a drop hit water, the ripples spread. That's kindness. What's interesting is, psychologically, if someone sees an act of kindness, they are vastly more likely 
to then repeat an act of kindness on their own spontaneously within the next 45 minutes to an hour. Kindness is infectious. So when you leverage kindness, you're actually not only doing yourself a service, but everybody else as well. Be kind, my friends.